Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today, I'm looking at Star Wars, the vintage collection, the Mandalorian. And I know we all love the TV show. Uh, very cool. On the back, it shows Darth Vader, Captain Rex, the Mandalorian, Hondo, the Onaka, I think, who I've got in UK, the armor I've got in UK, Moff Gideon, I'm not sure if I've got in UK, uh, Ark Trooper 5s, and is it Chirrut? Imwi, I've forgotten from uh from Rogue One. Looks really cool. Uh bear in mind Star Wars will scale slightly smaller than most modern or most other 118 scales because they are more true 3.75, more true 118 scales opposed to like four inch, which seems to be the stand at the moment. But we'll have a look at that in a moment when we do a comparison. So I am gonna break this open and then we can have a look together on camera and see what he is like so let's get into the review okay here he is first opinion first uh thoughts he looks really good um i really love the fact that this uh silvery color is looking really nice on his armor there looks very very good uh he's got more well, his backpack his jetpack comes off he's got the uh holster for his gun here he has a larger blaster it appears has got this little peg you can see here and i'm assuming that goes in that little hole i can see there that would be my guess very nice details i like that attention to detail i wish this wasn't hollow inside but again save on cost and also you want to save on weight because if i put that on there he wants to fall backwards also and that's on how can i get his blaster his um I can't get this in that hole at the same time. Maybe this has to go in first. It seems to be his either or. Mm, just about. No, it comes off. Uh, you can do it, but it'd be quite difficult to pose. Looks really nice. Pistol looks good. Let's see how his pistol goes inside his uh, little holster very nicely and very secure. Uh, you can pop his head off, I'm guessing. And you can take off his cloak if you want as well, which is good. That's uh, a simple barbell. Is that compatible with a lot of other different uh, figures? Looks cool. Let's have a look at his articulation. I'll keep the cloak on, but everything else removed. So head, left, right, side to side, up, down, fantastic. Arms all the way around. Um, shoulders won't go very far out to the side because of the... Um, sculpting unfortunately the backwards is okay on both arms uh bicep bend i'm not expecting anything amazing get his hands up around let's have a look though he can get 90 degrees which is pretty cool wasn't expecting to get quite that far in fact slightly over 90 on both his arms which is great it's fantastic have a closer look for you there is that gonna doesn't really want to focus for me let's come back um but it does look pretty cool nonetheless uh trunk side to side forwards backwards he can turn but bear in mind this strap that links to his a uh, holster is going to limit articulation there is not a separate waist he's got these hip joints i can't stand We've got to line up the joint to make it move, but pretty much a full splits, if you don't mind bending the holster around slightly. But forwards, he'll come outwards. You have to turn that first to get a proper forwards articulation where it turns out, which I'm not too keen on. But it's still pretty decent. It's got a single knee joint, but it gets 90 degrees. Looks pretty good. There is boot turn, which is fantastic. He has a... Not bad tippy toe, but his dorsiflexation is going to be hindered. Oh, I'm, I'm telling a lie, not hindered. He can get awesome dorsiflexation. He's got good dorsiflexation too, but it seems to be almost on a ratchet, which I don't want because it's like the settings are like either neutral or falling over. There's no in between and you want it in between really to help him balance when he's got his backpack on 
here because that does add weight to his back as we can see and uh, I put that back on try and make him stand up because there's no sort of space in between I'm trying to get it so it stays in one place I can with some popped off again with some practice but I think he's gonna pop off okay let's try him in an action pose and see how well he can do it I'm not sure he's got the articulation in the lower body I need in fact let's see how he holds his uh, pistol first come back to these disintegrator rifle whatever it's called a bit later oh he holds that really well perfect with the uh, perfect with the uh, finger in the uh, trigger position there do the classic James Bond pose And that's not that bad actually if I just get a bit more on the legs I reckon you'd hold that quite nicely almost there oh come on let's try the legs there now it's a full forwards close but not quite there be easy if I take that Part off here his little uh i'll call it a scarf or his cloak off okay let's say we hold his longer blaster rifle i don't think he's gonna hold this one particularly well but you know because the way it is there's no handle to physically hold and his wrist articulation oh he does have gun articulation so i'm telling a lie and he has wave articulation on his left is it or gun it's gun on both sides. So let's have a look if he can hold this decently or not. I'm not convinced yet, but. Ooh, that was looking good for a second there. Inside the hand, finger in the trigger position, stay straight. Yeah, not easy. You could do it, but it's not going to be easy. It'd be easier him holding it in a, um, a guard position, I think, than an actual trying to snipe position. Great character from a great TV, ah! TV show. Oh, he was just about there then, but quite tough to get that. There we go a little bit tough to get that pose that I want and that looks a pretty decent pose and you see he falls backwards again because he needs to have slightly better ankle articulation not just that click to the end here which obviously will fall forwards and he's saying a bit easier in between great figure I like him a lot I think he looks fantastic um Again, having you can see there's a hole in his back for the uh, gun, but having the uh, what is a rifle, but having that and the backpack is going to be a bit of a mission, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, it looks to be a case of either or, which is a shame. The backpack, yeah, a bit disappointed because there's a lot more of the colour in there. All right, let's get a compare a couple of comparisons done for size. And if I put him in the back, he can lean against the uh, the backboard there. So let's uh, in fact let me bring a bit closer and get a cl slightly closer look first of all. Let me see. Let's have a look. Nice figure. Okay, comparison for size. First, I use a Marvel Legend Series 118 scale Yondu for Guards of the Galaxy. And you see that Yondu is, as I said, bigger because the vintage are more true to a proper 118 scale. If I use a Fortnite Midas, similar to that. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I take Yondu away, let's use our favorite 40k from Joy Toy. And now it's like, okay, this is going to be. This is going to be one bounty that I think, 
the Mandalorian should probably not pursue, if I'm honest. You know, I'm not sure he's going to win this battle. He might have skills, but he hasn't got the, you know, and he's got some really good armor, obviously, but compared to a 40k figure, a 40k uh, Space Marine, I think he's going to meet his match <laughs> in more ways than one. Let's try and get this gun back in again. Okay, let's line that up. Still doesn't want to stand up. Oh, come on, stand for me. One gun battle, I think he's going to lose in terms of firepower and everything. Um, great looking figure, I think he's good. If you're into the TV show, definitely worth picking up. If you're into your 118 scale in general, he's a great figure to have. And let's look at his head again. So that would be, com is that compatible with my Joy Toy figure here? I'm not sure. Yeah, if I have to take the barbell out, I can maybe push his head in there. They look kind of funny, you know. <laughs> but it'll be compatible with quite a few lines I think which is nice because you can chop and change and mix as you please good all round figure and you've got options to make it look differently with a gun, with a backpack, with a cloak on the cloak off and I think it's got lots of potential great figure, definitely worth picking up very very nice Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe, click on the notification icon, stay up to date, latest news, reviews, etc. Stay happy here collecting. Bye bye.